Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something that I actually came up with on my own and it had to do with eyeshadow I'm wearing on my eyes today. I was actually going through my makeup and I discovered again this single eyeshadow and I haven't worn it in a long time and then it hit me like a ton of bricks. Why not sit down and film a video solely talking about my favorite holy grail best single eyeshadows. I have them in order by kind of category I have by brand, type, what I think of the pigmentation, blendability, things like that, and then of course the names. So if you're interested in any of these shadows that I mentioned, I will be listing them below. So let's just get started. Alright, so the first group is NYX or NYX. This is a drugstore affordable brand and these are their prismatic shadows. They release a ton of these in this little collection and I have all I don't know how many I have, but I have a ton of them. These three are hands down my favorite. So the lightest shade that I have is called Girl Talk, kind of like a pink champagne shade, really, really gorgeous, and they glide on like butter. They're amazing. And then this middle shade is also really gorgeous. It's called Liquid Gold, and it's kind of like a molten, melted, bronzy gold. It's just a gorgeous, easy to use shadow. Again, these are super buttery, super creamy, and the pigmentation of these shadows is completely off the charts. And then this last shade, the darkest one, is called Bedroom Eyes, and it's a beautiful, again, kind of bronzy shade, but it's a bronzy brown. Beautiful, beautiful color, again, for all over the lid. It's not a stark, flat brown. It's a beautiful, kind of shimmery, dark, bronzy brown, and I love it. I remember when I first watched them and purchased them, I was so incredibly just blown away. They're amazing. For drugstore, incredible. All right, the next trio is from ColourPop, and these are their Super Shock Shadows. I think I've described these to you guys before on my channel. They're kind of like a creamy, wet shadow that dry down into a powder formula, but they're very wet when you first apply them, and I think they apply the best with either your fingers or a synthetic brush. These do definitely pack a punch. I feel like the color payoff is definitely there. I love these. I have this one called Waddles. It's a really weird name. Gorgeous Lavender lilac -y shade. I hit pan on. I think you guys can tell I love this color. And then the next shade is called Weenie. This is from Kathleen Lights, and I absolutely love this color. It is a gorgeous rose gold bronze shade. It's different, it's definitely pigmented, super, super brightening and very flattering. I love Weenie. And then my last favorite, and honestly, it was so hard to narrow it down to three. So this last shade is called On the Rocks, and I think this is one of the first colors I collected from ColourPop, and it's a beautiful dark bronzy chocolate, and it's so gorgeous all over the lid. It's a perfect shade to reach for this time of year from fall through winter. It just does a great job of smoking out the lower lash line. It has some finely milled glitter and shimmer to it. Really, really pretty color. All right, so this next trio is from Urban Decay. I have two from there. I believe these are their moon shadow, single shadows. Soul Stice is a very unique kind of I would say kind of like a burgundy cranberry shade that turns green and sort of brown. It's very, very unique. It's a duochrome shadow with tons and tons of shimmer and glitter in it, but it's creamy. It stays on the lids. It doesn't cause as much fallout as other kind of glittery shades do. I really enjoy this shade, Soul Slice, and I thought I would share it with you guys. And then the other one, Diamond Dog, is a beautiful chocolatey brown that has kind of like a almost green undertone when it reflects in the light. It's really different as well, and this looks beautiful all over the lid if you want something chocolatey, a little bit deeper, darker, smokier, but that has that hint of shimmer to it. Definitely pick up Diamond Dog. And these are pretty creamy. They're not as wet as ColourPop, but I feel like the pigmentation is there. Honestly, I almost think that the NYX Prismatic Shadows are more creamy and a little bit more pigmented in one swipe than these, but these do build. You can work with them, and they are worth it in my opinion because they offer shades that I don't have anywhere else in my collection of eyeshadows in general. So I do love Diamond Dog and Soul Stice. And then this third shadow is just from their regular collection of single shadows. It's called Laced, and I believe this may be in the Naked 2 palette or the Naked 1, but it's a beautiful, soft, kind of almost taupey lilac lavender shade. It's a great transitioning shade for the crease. I love it all over the lid if I just want some color there, but it gives a little tiny bit of depth to my eyes, and it's just a cool color. It's different. It's a little bit cool tone, which normally isn't what I gravitate towards, but for some reason this color, I just really like it. It's different, and it's pretty, and it's very feminine. And again, it's called Laced. So that's it for like the trio collections. Now I have just a mixture of shadows to share with you, but they still are kind of by category, so let's just keep going. All right, so these next, so these next. All right, so these next two shadows are from L'Oreal. Now, this first one I have mentioned to death on my channel if you've been watching it for a while. These are the Infallible Paint Metallic Single Shadows, and this one in number 402, Brass Knuckles. I believe there's four shades, five or six in this collection. It was recently released. It's a newer collection of shadows from L'Oreal in their singles department from earlier this year, I believe, and it's a gorgeous metallic creamy shadow. It's amazingly, amazingly pigmented. It glides onto your skin. It glides onto your eyes. Just 
amazing. I have never seen a shadow this creamy or this pigmented. And the fact that it's from the drugstore just blows my mind. So again, this is Brass Knuckles and it's a beautiful bronzy color, more brown than gold. Gorgeous, has shimmer, has sheen, has that metallicness to it, and I definitely think it's a holy grail shadow. And then the second one from L'Oreal is from their already existing, long time ago collection of single shadows, and they come in these cute little like glass pots that you twist open, they have a stopper inside, and this one in number 557, Glistening Garnet, is a gorgeous cranberry shade. I love this in the fall time. It's a beautiful ballerina pink eyeshadow. It's perfect if you're wearing your hair up in a pretty ballerina updo. It's just very feminine. I'd wear this in in the fall, I'd wear this at Valentine's Day. It's just a really pretty pink shadow that isn't too pink. But I think this will look beautiful on everybody. Glistening Garnet has a little bit of pink, it has a little bit of cranberry, it has a little bit of purple, and again, just as creamy as the formulation in these metallics. This one is a little bit more metallic, this one is a little bit more shimmery, but they're both super pigmented. Next, I have two single shadows from Milani. I love Milani. They make such amazing makeup for the drugstore and I feel like they're super affordable. I've been a fan of Milani since I first, first got into makeup in middle school. And these single shadows are their Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow. They're super creamy. These two are the best of that collection. So the first one is called Bella White and it's just a beautiful white shadow, which is perfect for highlighting the brow bone, for highlighting this inner tear duct area. It's a gorgeous white that has sheen and some shimmer to it. It's not a flat white and this works so beautiful with any brown shadow. So you could basically put this in here, put it under your brows and then work a brown shadow on your lid and blow it out into the crease and you are finished because it adds dimension, it adds life and light but it's not a boring white and that's why I love it and that's why I'm mentioning it today and again it is called Bella White and this is number seven. And then the second shadow I had to mention has been shattered into two little pieces at the very bottom. You can tell been loved. I don't know if you can see it's correct. There's have to be careful. This one in Bella Chiffon is the most gorgeous champagne creamy. It's very highlighting. I have it today in the inner tear duct. I have it under my brows and I have it as a face highlight for today. It's a gorgeous face highlight. In fact, I wore this once to Bath and Body Works of all places a couple years ago to pick up some candles. I had those coupons, the mailers for fall candles, maybe two years ago. And I remember doing my makeup and I grabbed this eyeshadow and I put it on as my face highlight. And while I was at the checkout line, the girl said that my highlight was on point. And I was like, what? I was like, oh, thank you. And she's like, what is it? And I told her it's actually a Milani single eyeshadow. And I told her the name was Bella Chiffon. And she was blown away. She thought I was gonna say Becca or something. And honestly, it's this little baby eyeshadow and it works wonders on the eyes and apparently on the face. So had to mention it. All right, this next shadow stands all on its own because it is amazing. And again, it can act as a face highlight as well. This is the J Cat Beauty Triple Crown Baked Shadow. It's a single shadow that has three shades to it. It's very shimmery, very, very glowy. I love it as a face highlight as well. I tend to stick to these top two shades for highlighting my face, but all of them swirl together just as gorgeous. Just a really pretty eyeshadow, but I'll be honest, I like this more as a highlight. Don't really use it as an eyeshadow. I use it more in the inner tear duct or under the eyebrows. That's where I use it if I'm using it as a shadow as an all over lid color. It's too shimmery. I would want something a little bit darker and a little bit more um, a little bit more pigmented in color. Not that this is not pigmented. I just feel like it's more pigmented in the form of a highlighting product versus a shadow color. But I had to mention it because it's affordable, it's amazing, you get three shades in here, and it acts as a face highlight. So it's definitely holy grail in that sense, and you can still highlight those areas of the eyes. From J Cat Beauty, which you can find online, and now Ulta carries this brand. And before I forget to mention, it's number 102 in Dulce de Leche. All right, these next two are kind of a little random category. I decided to put them together because they're the only shadows I have from each brand. And I don't know, they just kind of looked pretty together in the swatch. So I grouped them together. So this first one is from Rimmel London. And I think these are more newly released shadows from earlier this year as well. This is their Magnifies Single Shadows in number 003, all about the base. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, neutral, kind of taupey undertone matte brown shadow that is the most beautiful, delicious color for kind of transitioning in that crease area for your eyes. You can use it all over the lids if you're doing just a fast eye makeup look. But guess what guys, this works perfectly for contouring. Contour out my cheekbones and it blends out creamily, if that's even a word, but it's very creamy when it blends out. It does a great job on the eyes and again, a face product in all about the base. And then in the swatch right next to that, I have this single shadow from H&M, and I have quite a few of these H&M shadows. Love H&M, they're one of my favorite affordable fashion companies that you can find in the mall. And the fact that they came out with a makeup line is pretty amazing, but I'm mentioning this one today because it's the most standout one that I've used the most. It's actually called Orange Ochre, and it's a gorgeous, shimmery, pumpkin-y fall 
spice latte gorgeous orangey cinnamony spicy shade definitely pigmented one swipe one go done these next two are also drugstore affordable i actually found these believe it or not at the dollar tree so they were literally a dollar a piece but i have heard you can find this brand think in some Rite Aids. I'm not sure if not, you can always go to Amazon and I'll be sure to link them below if I can find them online for you guys. The brand is LA Colors and these are so, so pretty. I love these for just an everyday, easy go-to reach for shade for the lid, for smoking out and for the crease. So the lighter shade is called Bare Mauve and it's a really weird name because this is nowhere near mauve whatsoever. It's more of a warm caramel, but very light caramel shade. Perfect crease color. It's a beautiful transitioning shade. And then the other shade is called Spiced and it's a darker spicy brown. I love this to smoke out that RV just to give it a more smoky effect. And I have often done eyeshadow looks just using these two shades and that's pretty much it. So these are definitely two shadows that you can just kind of reach for and be done in a few seconds and have a nice little eye look. So I have to mention them. Now we're rounding up to the shade, the star of this video, what made me get inspired to film this in the first place. And it's from NARS. I believe this is a discontinued shade. I did find this online a couple of years ago and it's called Galapagos. And the reason why I love this shadow is because it is a gorgeous chocolatey brown, which that alone would sell me on this shadow. But it has this finely milled micro gold glitter in it that does not cause fallout when you press it onto your eyelids. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Perfect for fall. It's so beautiful. As you'll see in the swatch, the glitter that's in here, the shimmer is just absolutely incredible. I love it. Definitely worth it. Hopefully I can find it online so I can link it for you guys below, but Galapagos is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. These next two shadows are in the creamy category. This first one, I actually have it underneath of that Galapagos shade. This is the MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot and Genuine Treasure. And it's a gorgeous kind of taupey bronze shade. It's a very light bronzy taupe. And it has a lot of that micro shimmery glittery flecks within it, but it's creamy. So I applied that all over the lid and then I pressed this NARS over that. This helped that powder shadow adhere a little bit better. I'm hoping it also added a little bit of shimmer and sparkle to the powder shadow, but even if it didn't, it doesn't matter because that powder shadow has so much of it, but this is gorgeous. I love these kind of creamy pot shadows by itself. It's just as gorgeous. I love it. It adds a little bit of shimmer and sheen to the lid or anywhere you're working under the lower lash line. If that's what you're going for, definitely pick up Genuine Treasure. And this next creamy shadow is from Stila. This is her Magnificent Metals Single Shadow and Metallic Gilded Gold. And as you'll see in the swatch, it's so gorgeous. It's almost as if somebody took a cheese grater and kind of sliced off tiny chunks of gold and mixed it with, I don't know, some kind of creamy substance and created this pot of creamy gold. It's amazing. It's basically foiled gold. Metallic gilded gold from Stila, a definite holy grail. And then to round out this video, we have two more shadows. These are what I like to call the eye glosses. They're almost like a watered down eyeshadow, if that makes sense. So the first one I have is from Butter London. This is their Glazen Eye Gloss in the shade Frosted. It almost looks like hair gel. It's really cool consistency. And it is the creamiest, most metallic, most amazing, just, I don't even know how to describe it. It's amazing. Definitely check out Butter London, swatch these. There's more shades, but this one in Frosted, this pretty pink is just, Blows my mind every single time I play with it. And then this last shade is from Pure Cosmetics. This is their eye polish in the shade Silk. I've worn this before on my channel, probably a couple years ago when it first came out and it's been a favorite. Silk is a gorgeous kind of rosy, rose gold, pinky, bronze, just gorgeousness. I like to apply this with my finger. That's the best color payoff and all over the lid. It's amazing. It's simply smashing. So that's it guys, that rounds up my 26 holy grail single shadows. I hope you enjoyed this video, kind of came to me in the middle of the night. Hopefully it was as enjoyable for you to watch as it was for me to gather these shadows and film it for you guys. Feel free to request anything you want to see in the future on my channel, you can do that down there. Subscribe, like, you know what to do. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.